And today we read on in Acts chapter 10 with Peter, a Jew, a fisherman, visiting Cornelius, a Roman commander, at his house. Peter not only saw the risen Jesus, he had meals with him. This resurrection was very, very significant for Peter. Now, at Caesarea seaport, we see in chapter 10 of Acts, Angel chapter 10, you read alongside in the New International Reader's Version that Peter now was ready to share the good news, the Angel. Stefan Heger, 2021 in Islamabad, Pakistan, reading with you verse 34. Peter began to speak, I now realize how true it is that God treats everyone the same, he said. He accepts people from every nation. He accepts all who have respect for him and do what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel? It is the good news of peace through Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. It is Isa al Masi and the good news. Injil, Evangelium, Gospel for all people. He is Lord. Verse 37, you know what has happened all through Judea. It started in Galilee after John preached about baptism. 38, you know how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Jesus went around doing good. He healed all who were under the devil's power. God was with him. We are all witnesses of everything he did in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by nailing him to a cross. But on the third day, God raised him from the dead. God allowed Jesus to be seen. But he wasn't seen by all, all the people. He was seen only by us. We are witnesses whom God had already chosen. We ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people. He told us to give witness that he is the one appointed by God to judge the living and the dead. All the prophets gave witness about him. They say that all who believe in him have their sins forgiven through his name. Do you believe that your sins can be forgiven, taken away in the name of Jesus by God the Father? Do you believe? While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard this message. Some Jewish believers had come with Peter. They were amazed because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on those who weren't Jews. They heard them speaking in languages they had not known before. They also heard them praising God. Then Peter said, Can anyone keep these people from being baptized with water? They have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. So he ordered that they be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked Peter to stay with them for a few more days. They stayed after they saw the first pagan family, Romans, Cornelius, baptized himself with all his family by simple Jewish fishermen, Peter, and few people who came with him. They received the Holy Spirit, which is a gift from God. Are you baptized? Have you got the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus? God loves you and he is waiting for you today.